in the state capital of Nagaland where I reside, waste disposal is a common sight with no civic sense practiced by the common people. It becomes a menace, especially during rainy seasons, as the garbage remains unattended and attracts pests like rats, moles, etc. and leaves no space for vehicles to commute, which also results in congestion of traffic. There are many health hazards caused by uh, these unattended garbages. Uh, for example, like cholera, typhoid, which are the common diseases of Nagaland. How do you dispose of your garbage? We dispose our garbages in a garbage pit, uh, of which we have only one in our colony. So whose responsibility is it to clear up the garbage dump? Obviously, it is the responsibility of the Kohima municipal body. According to the Kohima Municipal Council, Kohima generates about 45 to 50 tons of garbages every day, of which only 50% are being collected despite providing sanitary services for six days a week in all weather conditions. The KMC gives more importance to those colonies where complainants are more and where the colony union is strong. The KMC said the reason for the failure of the sanitation branch was due to existing resources overwhelmed by the staggering amount of waste products. So what do you think should be done? The first and foremost is of course to create a kind of or to inculcate in the minds of the people a civic sense. Now what is the difference between Nagaland and Singapore? Singapore is considered to be one of the cleanest country in the world. The difference is nothing, just that we lack in civic sense. Do we have to keep calling the Kohima Municipal Council every single day to remind them of their duties? Most importantly, the Kohima Municipal Council should introduce the method of segregation, that is plastic and papers should be separated and also conduct an awareness program on reuse of waste products. From Kohima, Nagaland, this is Mary Benny Kikon reporting for India Unheard.